Gungrave Gore is the third mainline game in the Gungrave series, which is a series based upon a 2003 anime. This game, developed by Iggy Mob and published by Prime Matter, follows monster killer Grave as he destroys monsters with oversized guns in epic fashion. It'll be released on PS4 and PS5 and of course on the other Xbox stuff on November the 22nd, but with a few short weeks left until the game, let's take a look at what we can expect from Gungrave Gore. Gungrave VR was a prequel to Gungrave Gore, released on PS4 and developed also by Iggy Mob. It was poorly received due to the unengaging gameplay, clunky mechanics and controls, and lack of story elements, and a distinct lack of features that took advantage of the VR capabilities of the PS4. It played like a mediocre PS2 game shoved into VR, and it really showed. Both its Metacritic score and audience rating were a meagre 41 out of 100 and 4.2 out of 10. However, Gungrave Gore shows promising improvements on that utter flop. The gameplay released to the public thus far looks much smoother and much more enjoyable. While it doesn't display much in the way of engaging gameplay, it might be a very satisfying bullet storm, which would be a massive improvement alone. The aesthetic aspects of the game may not be everyone's cup of tea. However, by ditching mass appeal, Gungrave Gore looks poised to win over its cult following. The graphics are immaculate and smooth, and the design aspects are interesting. The music and sound design and graphics have a cohesive theme of death, darkness, gore, and blood. It's also very futuristic and may appeal to fans of these aesthetic themes who play games like Doom or Devil May Cry. However, it has its own aesthetic qualities that make it unique and unapologetically Gungrave, which many fans of the past entries will love. Not much is known about the story of Gungrave Gore yet, but it is intended to be a revival of the series. It should be enjoyed for fans of the anime and previous title, but also offer a self-sufficient introduction to the series for the uninitiated. While it's important to be wary of Iggy Mob's offerings to avoid disappointment, this story may be worth investing the approximately 12 hours or so that it will take to complete the game. As mentioned above, some of the gameplay that we have seen appears to be well optimized and smooth, ditching the slow and clunky gameplay of the previous release. In addition to this, it adds more engaging elements into the mix. Graves' Cerberus pistols have unlimited ammo and serve as his all reliable, while his massive Evo coffin strapped across his back can unleash devastating combos and perform special techniques. One such technique allows Grave to deflect incoming rockets back to the foe who launch them at him. If the game is as satisfying to play as it looks, it may offer a mindless blast to those who play video games just to chill out. So, should you buy it? Pre-ordering this game may not be a good idea if you're not a mega fan of the series or the anime. Iggy Mob doesn't exactly have a squeaky clean track record of releasing fan favorite games, as shown by Gungrave's VR's poor reception. It's probably best to wait until release and to see how the game is first received with its first batches of reviews. However, the available trailers, previews, and gameplay footage paint it as a massive improvement over the previous endeavors. It may just be the revival that the series needs to garner a dedicated cult fan base to continue creating games for this niche audience. Gungrave Gore releases on PlayStation on November the 22nd, but of course, if that is too long for you to wait, then why not watch one of our other videos here at 128KB, and we will see you next time. The world has been thrown into turmoil. So happy Resurrection Day. The Raven Clan, a notorious drug cartel, is spreading a dangerous alien drug across the globe.